Do you have a car? If yes, click the subscribe button now. Believe us, sooner or later you will need our help. We bet that you had to replace a burnt out headlight bulb at least one time in the past. Don't go to an expensive dealer for a simple bulb replacement. Subscribe to this channel and save time and money. Here you will find the best in the world information about halogen, xenon, and LED headlights. Based on more than 20 years experience, we will also show you how to troubleshoot and repair your headlights. Subscribe, camera, action, lights. Video description. I will begin with the ballast unit. As you can see, this is this is Valeo 4 pin ballast unit. One of, one of the most common ballast used at Xenon headlights. Let me remove the power plug and the connector cable. Yes, as you see, this is the one of the most common ballast for 4 pin Valeo ballast. This is for, for the low beam and the high beam. If you don't have a low beam or high beam, because this is a bi-xenon headlight and low beam and a high beam is at the D1S type xenon bulb, at one bulb, that's why it's called bi-xenon. If you don't have a bi-xenon uh, low beam or high beam, it means that uh, your ballast unit is faulty. Let me continue. Indeed, the back cover is a, also a replaceable part. If you have any damage on the back cover, it's very important to replace it because if you have any damage on the back cover, it means that your headlight will not bread correctly and then it will make condensation. By the way, you will need Torx 20, T20 to remove the ballast and the back cover and everything on this headlight. The cover is sided, be careful. If you need for the right hand side, you have to buy the right one with the R on the cable, on the back cover. If you need the left one, you will have to purchase the L, uh, the other side. As uh, stated, they are not interchangeable. Be careful when, if you need the cover, be, uh, be, uh, be careful to purchase the correct one. If you look inside, you will see that there is a Xenon book. There is a xenon bulb. It's a D1S type xenon bulb. Again, one of the most common bulbs. D1S. If you don't have a low beam, either your bulb or your ballast unit is faulty. Then, now we know also the bulb. If you, if you look carefully inside the headlight, you will see two actuator motors. The lower one, the horizontal one, which one is this, is for the IFS function of the headlight. If your uh, IFS module is working, then this guy is not working then. As stated, this is IFS actuator mo module. It basically push and pulls the projector itself when turning to the left or to, or to the right depending on, on your steering wheel position. There is another one here on, on left up. It is a vertical vertical leveling headlight motor. This regulates your headlight beam vertically, up and down. If you have a leveling problem, it means that you have to change this uh, leveling motor. There is a four pin plug here. We also have it. If you have a broken four pin uh, plug, you can source it. Well, then we have two covers. The covers are very important, as stated before, because uh, if, you, if you don't have a cover or if it's not put it firmly on place, it means that your headlight will make condensation and you are risking your IFS module and your Xenon ballast. Especially the IFS module at these headlights are stupidly expensive right now. The cover number, rubber cover numbers are 89390690. So if you don't have one of these, you have to definitely find it and put it on place. Otherwise, as stated, you are risking expensive IFS module located 
underneath your headlight. Let me show you. Again, I already removed much of the many of the screws. In order to remove it, you have to remove the adjuster arms underneath the headlight. Then T20 Torx. You you will remove the let me check. Here is the IFS module. This is the by, by now this is the most expensive part in this headlight. IFS module is sided. You have one for the right hand uh, headlight and one for the left hand headlight. The left hand headlight is 7L6941329. This is for the left side and for the right side you need 7L6941330 and stated they are not interchangeable. You have to purchase the correct one, correct one for your headlight. If your uh, IFS functions, that, that is to say, when you are turning your steering wheel to the right, if your projector, if your projector inside the headlight is not turning to the right, then this it means that IFS it's a IFS failure, and either your IFS actuator is faulty, or mo more expensive uh, module is faulty. And you have also. Uh, one H7, H7 bulb, it's an auxiliary bulb when you are turning out to the right or to the left depending on your steering wheel position. Uh, there is an additional uh, bulb, it's also lighting up when you are turning uh, in accordance, in it's synchronized with your IFS module. As far as I can see, that's all guys that I have to mention for this headlight. 